Hello and welcome to video number six. In this specific video, I'm going to talk about how you can write content and getting traffic by writing good content and setting it all up correctly. There are three things I'm going to talk about. We're going to do some research on content. I'm going to show you how to write search engine friendly content. Of course, in order to do that, you're going to need to have the keywords that we got in the previous videos. And then I'm going to show you how to link all your content together which is called deep linking. So essentially what I'm showing you is how to write content for humans so that you know you got people that come back to your site, they sign up on your list, and then also how to make it search engine friendly so that you can rank high on Google and get search engine traffic. So with that said, let me show you how to do that. Creating content from your main keyword and breaking it down so you have specific pieces of content that are related is actually very easy to do. To do that, all you need to do is go to google.com. And then what you need to do now is to basically find the keyword or the main keyword you want to rank on. In this case, we have DIY chicken coop plans. We can highlight this, copy it, go to google.com simply enter that specific keyword and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you're gonna see searches related to this keyword and you can simply copy this over to here now these are some ideas here you can also use the Google keyword tool so if we go up here type in Google keyword tool and simply enter that keyword again here and we're going to enter this here And I'm going to unselect broad, select exact, and there we go. You can have exact, you can have phrase match, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to events, options, and filters, check the competition, make sure it's low and medium, click on search. That helps us narrow down to these keywords here. So what I can do now is simply rank these. And what I can try to do now is each one of these could be articles that are part of the actual main site that talks about DIY chicken coop plants. So if you think about it, each and every article that you create, your goal is to rank high on the search engines so that you can funnel people back to your main site and so forth. And if you want to make it really easy for yourself, what you can do is rank it this way. And let's see here, we can change this local monthly searches to at least we'll say the minimum of 200 or let's say 400 and there we go so these are if you go for the low ones make your own blueprints now nah, that's probably not going to work uh, let's see here and we let's just change this back to low and medium click search so I'm basically looking for low to medium keywords that are not too low of a local monthly searches but are high enough that they get enough traffic to my site but are easy to rank on so if you follow the way I'm going to show you how to write the article and your articles get ranked on Google 
then you're going to drive traffic back to your site. Now you want to make sure that all of the keywords and all the articles that you write in relation to your WordPress blog relate back to your main keyword. Okay, so what you need to do is simply pick and choose keywords. So small chicken coop plans, that might be a good one. and mobile chicken coop plans and there we go so let's say we have a bunch of these keywords that we want to now begin to create content around so now let's say for example that i want to create an article on small chicken coop plans to do this all you need to do is, okay, let's see, small chicken coop plans. If I click on this, click on search here, scroll all the way down to the very bottom, and I can use these keywords in my article, and that will help. Or you can take it one step further and actually do a Google search on that specific keyword. And then from that point, I'll select exact and phrase because right now, basically all I want to know is what kind of keywords can I put in my article so that when Google comes to my article on small chicken coop plans, they know that that article is really about chicken coop plans. So what I can do is simply go through here, make sure that certain keywords are actually in that article. So that now when Google comes to my site, it reads the article and it sees some of these keywords sprinkled out in through that article. Then they know for sure that this article is truly about small chicken coop plants. See, when they do a search, they realize, aha, these keywords are matched in our database and these keywords are you know revealed in that article that you have written so if you follow this system of basically for every main article keyword you put that in Google keywords select exact and phrase use the keyword ideas that you get here and write the article from that point now I'm not going to show you necessarily how to write an article but just to keep it simple, the title needs to have the keyword chicken, small chicken coop plants. The introduction needs to have some sort of variation of small chicken coop plants. And from that point, the body and everything else should have keywords that relate right here. Now, if I hop on back over to my WordPress blog here, and let's say for example I'm going to add a new brand new post and we're gonna call this small chicken coop plants how to build your very own let's see actually let's say uh, gain access to these small chicken coop plants. And then what you need to do there is simply have that in the introduction. And then of course sprinkle out your what we call LSI keywords or related Google keywords here. Now after you've created one or two or three different article posts, what you need to do is link them together. So let's say for example, this is the small chicken coop plans. And within this body, we talk about raising chickens and maybe baby chickens or something. All three of these articles need to have some sort of similarity in some sort of keyword. So 
what I mean by this is this post needs to have something that's related in terms of keywords to the other posts. So if I click on add new here and I say, let's say gain access to for free chicken coop plants. And then of course we got the title, the intro here, and then somewhere along the lines we talk about raising chickens. Now what I mean by linking is that this post should link to this post. So to get this post, if you click on right, click here, click copy link address, and simply highlight the similar keyword and click insert here and enter the URL here, click on add link. Basically what we're doing is we're linking this keyword here to that other article that's related to this article here. And if you simply create a chain of links that links each article together and make sure that the keywords are being linked to each keyword, then your Google is going to come to your site. They're going to read your articles. They're going to match. They're going to say, hey, these keywords are related to this main keyword. But hey, there's a link that's pointing here to here. And when they go to that other page, they're going to realize, oh, this page is also related to. So that actually helps your ranking in the future. And that's it.